I don't know if you can hear that or not. That's the brook behind me raging right now. We were woken up about 3 a.m. this morning. The rain was coming down so hard. <sighs> then we had thunderstorms at 6 a.m. now. We've gotten over an inch of rain already since midnight. I want to check on the goats, make sure they're all okay. Oh, guys, it's just crazy. We melted, whoa, all of our snow. And then we got an inch of rain. Just worrying about stuff flooding out. This is just, I've never seen weather like this before. Oh. Everything is just mud. Black. Just hoping the barn stayed nice and dry. You girls dry? Seems to be. Here, let me put your feed in the feeder. Come on. There you go. Let's go check on Hope. But I mean. been wet enough without this extra inch of rain. Come on in, girl. How's your area staying? Is it nice and dry back here too? Just want to check all this. Oh, God, it's nice and dry. Yeah. You gonna go outside, hope a dope? Good morning. She gets right in there, no fear. You are fearless, girl, fearless. Huh. Everything is just so wet. We're going to leave Hope out with the other goats during feeding time. I'm going to go do the chores of New York City. I'll keep an eye down here and make sure the goats are not too rough with her. I feel bad for the animals. This has been the longest and the worst winter that I can ever remember. And it's so far it's been a pretty darn wet spring with snow and now rain. <sighs> Actually, we're lucking out with where New York City is. It's, there's no puddles. There's puddles everywhere else in this pasture. So that's good. It's all flooded out down there, over there, and there. And it looks like where New York City got left over the winter was a good spot. <laughs> We've got one escaped chicken. Figaro, you gotta leave the chickens alone. <laughs> Wonder if he would go after a big chicken. I don't think so. I did get that loose chicken just in. She came over and wanted the feed, so I was able to pick the fence up and she walked right under the fence and went right back in. Just in time before Figaro showed up. Come on, let's go. Looks like Buttercup and Hope are playing. I think they're starting to accept Hope. That's a good thing. Did that rain wake you up this morning? Yeah. Crazy loud, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it melted a lot of snow. Sure did. Look at our garden beds. 
That's you're actually, a good thing, though. It is. Do you hear the brook? Yeah. Going through and reading a lot of the comments on the video that went out today, there's quite a few people saying that they're in a tornado watch. I hope none of you guys get hit by a tornado. That's worse than all this rain we've been getting, that's for sure. Here comes the rain, and here comes the school bus, so you won't have to get wet. Yay. Love you. Love you. Have a good day at school. Uh, I'll see you this afternoon. Yeah. Good boy. Wait for the bus. Tana, don't go play in all the puddles. Hey, stay away. This is why we keep a leash on Tanner when we're out in the yard. If he sees the cat, he chases after the Figaro, and that could lead to trouble. It started raining out again, so all the goats went in. I just want to check on them and see how they're doing in the barn. I hear Hope. See her. Hopefully they're treating her good. Oh, I guess you're going to go in the back stall. They're not being that nice, are they? They're not being that nice, are they? Come on, we'll give you some chaff hay. They're doing better and better, but they're not perfect with you yet, huh? Come on, we'll get some chaff hay. There you go, have some chaff hay. Some regular hay. We'll be out later. I gave you girls some fresh hay for in the barn too. You're standing on it, girl. There you go. It's raining out really good right now. Will it ever end? I can't wait till it dries out. We can get all the animal coops and barns cleaned up and complete fresh bedding started over again. Can't wait for spring cleaning. The other day we had the vet here. We did a vet check. We had an ultrasound done on Willow. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right here. We also drew blood on the goats. And we need to send that blood out today. So we gotta get the package ready and fill out the paperwork for all that. I was hoping to be able to candle the eggs with the girls, but it's been so busy lately, we haven't had a chance. And today, it's not gonna work out either. We need to candle our eggs and see if they're growing any veins. All right, shut this off. I'm not sure how good the black copper moran eggs are gonna be able to see in them. You can see a blob. But I can't see, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You can see the yolk sac, but I can't tell if there's veins or not. I can't see nothing in this one. This one's got good growth. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me shut off some more lights. Can you guys see that? Look at that. That's a good egg. Well, these are all of egg layers. That one's got some good growth in it too, guys. This one does have veins. This olive egg layer isn't as far along as the other eggs, but we got veins. The black copper marons are hard to tell. I almost want to say there's nothing on this one. Oh, man. I'm not seeing. Ooh, this one's good, I want to say. It's hard to see, but that one looks good. The first two that I just tested, I don't think so. This one, hard saying, but I'd say good chance. 
I don't know. I think that one looked good. I think we're doing pretty good, guys. That one might be a dud. I'm not seeing any veins. I'm not seeing any veins on this one either. But on these black copper morans, the shells are so dark. Like, look at that one. You can't even see nothing in it. I'm not going to, I'm not throwing away any of them. Just because we could be missing seeing the veins through these dark eggshells. Eleven more days and they should be hatching out. Eight more days and we get to take them out of the egg turner. And on day 19, maybe we'll start to hear some chirping. The lab we're gonna be getting our blood work done at is Washington State University. And then I'm gonna click down here to goat and sheep. And I scroll down, tells you the test you can get done. But once we come down here, I'm going to click on this form right there. And then I can fill out all the information they're asking right on the laptop. Do, 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 do. Print it and then send it in. The tests that we are getting done, we're going to get this test done for all three goats and then the Q fever and however you say this one for Willow because we'll be drinking her milk. So it talks right here about raw milk if you're going to be consuming it. So this is the small ruminant biosecurity screen. That's what they test for. This is something we do yearly. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get, have the vet show me how to draw the blood so I knew how to do it properly. So we can do it at least once a year and more if we need to. So these are the, the blood vials that we drew the other day. So I got everything Ziploc bag. Then I take an ice pack and tape an ice pack. Walmart down due to flooding. I can't say I've ever seen that before. I wonder if the river in the center of town is flooded out. Wow, the river's pretty high. The water's staying in the bank, but boy, that water is flowing good. Now, did you need that salmon teat overnight? No. Okay, we have two options. Priority meal, 9.30, be there in two days. Okay, you need stamps or anything else? No. Okay. That was the worst day to do that. Tax day today. <laughs> ah, the post office is normally not even that busy on Christmas. <laughs> you see the brook? I don't know. Now it's coming down good. Let's see if the gutter system's working. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that, guys. Flooding right over. Nice. I like seeing that. Cool beans. All this wet weather. It's a good night for soup, I think. I know we got some leftover chicken in the fridge, some carrots, some celery. We picked up some barley the other day. So I think it might be another good night for barley soup with a little twist. We got some mushrooms also. We'll get the garlic and the onion chopped up and then we'll saute them with the mushrooms.
Add in a little bit of avocado oil. Put it on saute mode. I would do a little splash. I'm gonna get that out of there, guys. That would not be good. Add in the rest of our onion. Use a whole package of white mushrooms. Get those in there. At least we know it's a good day for soup with the kind of weather we're having. April showers bring May flowers. Hope we get a lot of nice flowers this year. That's a big clove of garlic. Barely fits into our press. Let that saute for a little while and we'll cut up our other vegetables. The onions, garlic, and mushroom sauteing up smell so good. Let's chop up some carrots. What are some of your favorite soup recipes? Leave them in the comments down below. I'll try making some. I usually get stuck on our favorites and then I just keep remaking them. Ah, starting to look so good. I just love the smell and taste of celery. Something about it. Especially when you get down to the end. Mm, it smells so good. Now that's ready. No, I used up all of our homemade bone broth. We're gonna use store-bought broth this time. I'm gonna pour in the broth with the saw table is still going. To deglaze the bottom of the pan, we wanna get all those little tasty tidbits off the bottom. Oh, there we go. I found the Instant Pot, if you leave it on saute mode, when you add your liquid in and you're getting everything else ready, it helps preheat the Instant Pot and it makes it cook faster. So we're gonna leave that on, add in our carrots, celery. We're gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes. Wish you guys could smell this, it smells so good. I'm gonna do a little over one cup of barley. Probably about a cup and an eighth, cup and a quarter of barley. And since we have a bag of peas, I'm gonna add some peas into the soup. I love a good hearty soup. Soup that has more vegetables and meat in it than broth. I'm gonna put it on manual mode for 20 minutes. After it's cooked for 20 minutes, we're gonna let it cool down under pressure for 15 minutes, and then we'll release the pressure after that. So all in all, it'll probably take around an hour to cook. Still raining out good. Uh, it's just us this afternoon doing the chores. Olivia and Gina are at the dentist. That's always fun getting your teeth cleaned. See the goats staring at us and saying, what's up with this rain? We've had enough. I know girls, I've had enough too. I don't want this rain. I want some sun so we can build you a new barn. Yeah. Flooding out down here pretty good. There, 
And then over here too now. <sighs> Look at all of it. What are you girls doing? Want some more water? And some more hay? Huh? You enjoying the rainy day? I didn't think so. You want some chaff hay? Yeah, we'll get you some chaff hay. There you go. Got it all over your face. I know, I wish I could control the weather and have the sunshine come out for a week. Wow, the chickens are out. I figured they'd be inside New York City. Can't get over how much water there is everywhere. What do you girls think of the rain, huh? Yeah. Look at all them eggs. You heard snow tomorrow. I don't want to hear it. One to three inches. <laughs> One to three inches. No thanks. Oh man. That's what I was gonna say, but I didn't like that when someone told me that. So I didn't say it. I don't think we like that news that Gina just gave us. Uh, what's the old saying? Don't kill the messenger. Well, I hope we're not going to be getting any snow tomorrow, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. This has been a very long winter, and the weather we're having this spring has been very odd. I hope it breaks, hope the sun's shining, and I hope where you guys live that you're having some nice weather and that you're able to start your planting season and get your garden and all your animals ready. Man, I'm so happy that the barn didn't flood out with this this weather we've been having is just unreal. We woke up at like 3.15 in the morning. The rain was coming down so hard on the roof, it just woke us all up. I, I hope we're done with that hard rain for a while. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I like to read quotes throughout the day. And one of the quotes I'm reading right now, it says, A successful person is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks that others throw at him or her. I like that. Just makes, you, makes me remember, we need to embrace our weirdness. That makes us who we are, makes us different, keeps it interesting. Thanks for watching guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.